Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to go ahead and talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. All right, we're just going to talk. You know, sometimes I don't like to go in the order of the show. Sometimes I just like to run my mouth. <laughs> by, the end of, by the end of whatever we're doing, a recap, a review, of the conversation, we going to know what's going on, okay? I want <laughs> Can I say something? I want to play devil's advocate, okay? So, I was I, w- I went to Dallas this past weekend to go to Dallas Black Pride. And as I was driving, I was just thinking about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And this thought came across my mind. And I said, girl... Why are we mad that Crystal pulled a white woman on a white woman? Because we ran to the defense of Sutton because we knew Crystal was dead wrong. And Crystal thought that she was going to find a friend in Garcelle. And Garcelle should have died. What if Crystal was like, baby, the stunts and shows that these white women pull all the time, I'm getting them back. (laughs) What if Crystal was like that? Why are we upset that Crystal basically pulled the white woman on the rich white woman? Because that's what they do. No tea, no shade. We know all white women don't act like that, but a good chunk of y'all do. (laughs) It is what it is, girl. Don't get mad at me for saying it, girl. Change your ways. If you change your ways, I won't say it. (laughs) Okay? So, Crystal pulled a rich white woman on a rich white woman. And we got upset because we felt as though we knew it was wrong. But quiet as it's kept, They pull stunts like that all the time. Hmm. But I also want to say this too. What if Garcelle would have been the one to back Crystal up? Garcelle could have been looking real crazy, right? And then Gar- they could have looked at Garcelle like, see, especially the ones who really don't want to talk about, you know, race. They could have used that as C. They just exaggerating and lying. I still think Crystal was wrong, even though Sutton is a rich white woman from the South. Girl, I still think Crystal was wrong. I still think Crystal was wrong. I think Crystal was wrong. I think Sutton is weird to me. I'm sorry, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Sutton, I'm not mad at Sutton for, you know, having conversations with Erica throughout this conversation or throughout the days that they were in Mexico. But it's just weird to me how just like the other day, baby, she told you to go F yourself. (laughs) And y'all said y'all can't stand each other. And now y'all just kind of just like talking. And I get that. Like I, I think I would I think I would understand it more if they had a big talk. You know what I'm saying? Like if they had the talk, like, girl, do you just want to go sit down somewhere and have a conversation by ourselves and just talk about how we got to this point? Then that would make sense to me. But it almost feels like they're having these small conversations to lead up to go have this big talk. Which to me, it kind of comes across as fake. I'm not saying that that Sutton is scared of Erica. I mean, she did hire Obama's Secret Service, okay? But I'm not saying Sutton is scared of Erica, but it's almost weird to me, like, even with Crystal. Girl, after this girl tried to paint you as the big R word, the next day, y'all are just walking on the beach together like ain't nothing happened. And maybe I need to stop trying to put myself in the shoes of Sutton. But maybe Crystal would have been cursed out the next day and the next day after that and the next day after that. She wouldn't have been able to say two words to me. Two. Girl, I see the stunts and shows you trying to pull, sister. 
Erica couldn't say nothing to me, not until we had a conversation. All these, all these little side talking, oh, we're working on it, and, you know, we're going to be okay, and, you know, we're not there yet. Girl, we need to go talk, <laughs> okay? Then we could do the small chat. I'm not sitting here having no small chat with you if it's still the big elephant in the room. Because, <laughs> girl, quiet as it's kept, you, I don't know how you moving. When Sutton basically asked her about her actions being genuine or something like that towards the end, that was valid to me because, girl, last year you pulled the same stunt and show and come to find out you didn't care. You just said it just to kind of like, oh, girl, we're on a trip. We're in the same exact situation this year on a trip, right? You may not want to ruin the mood, so let me just, you know, go along to get along. So I'm going to talk to the helper, but I really don't fool with her like that. That's why I think it's weird that Sutton is kind of just like, like letting this happen in a way, you know? Um, I didn't know Cal had an ex-husband. Girl, I said, when did she get married at 14? Girl. I thought Mauricio was her one and only, honey. So I guess, you know, I just got into Beverly Hills. Basically when Garcelle got on. That's how they got the black viewers, honey. Well, not everybody. Some of y'all been watching. But for a lot of us, honey, we just tuned in when they put the black girl on the cast. Anyways, um, so Mauricio is her second husband, right? And then her first husband, I guess that's... Because when she made the comment about her... Because then she have her... First, I guess Farrah is her first husband's child. So I think she had her pretty young, like at 20, 19, something like that, 2019, 19 or 20. She had her young, right? And then I guess that marriage must have, you know, was, girl, was over and done. Because her and Mauricio have been together for a minute. Am I right? Y'all know, y'all got to help me with this. Okay, um, Garcelle, I, you know what I want for Garcelle? <laughs> no tea, no shade. Because don't nobody on the show look like they got a stylist. I want Garcelle to get a black hairstylist. Because that white boy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Girl, why are you letting that white boy get in your head, Garcelle? If you don't go get you a black woman to fix your hair, or a black gay boy, you know, I mean, he ain't even gotta be gay. You see, I just put gay. I just made the. I just made a hairstylist be gay. But go get you somebody black, <laughs> cause that white boy. I just don't like the fact that she got a white. <laughs> Why you got that white man in your post, girl? Girl, no. You don't know what the fuck he doing. <laughs> Um, is Crystal a manipulator? Um, she says that basically she tells Garcelle and Sutton that, you know, she processes stuff, right? Now, part of what she was saying, I, I do that too. Like, I don't really say stuff. I just end up blowing up like two years later. <laughs> It'd be the weirdest shit. Um, so I felt like I understand, understood Sutton to, I mean, I Sutton, Crystal to a certain degree, but like she was kind of losing me with the whole, you know, I process stuff and, you know, if I'm still processing it and so I, well, you know, I guess I'm thinking about it now. I guess Crystal was trying to say that she, she doesn't say anything and she's still trying to process it in her head. So even though like when she called, when she said that Sutton said something dark, I guess what Crystal is trying to say is the reason why I said that it was dark. Did she didn't say this? I'm just trying to. I'm. 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 As I'm thinking about it, we're talking. We're just talking, y'all. We gonna get through this together. So I'm thinking that what Crystal meant was, I'm processing things. It takes me a while to, you know, process things. So for example, I'm thinking this is what she meant. Like with Sutton, I'm thinking in my head that maybe, you know, this situation was dark. So as I'm processing it 
and it's brought up to me, that's what comes out of my mouth because I'm still processing it in my head. Is that what she meant? Oh, it's crystal full of shit. <laughs> oh, sure. Um, Erica Jane is white girl wasted. When I tell you Miss Thing was gone, I'm talking about legs wide open, drunk girl. She said that um, Tom, <laughs> she said we, they had a boat called the Illegal. Is that what she said? I said, I'm sure it was. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> the illegal. <laughs> I said, Tom, I already knew. <laughs> <laughs> um... Sutton crystal, no, Sutton lizard tongue, girl. I want that woman to go figure out what's going on with, with this mouth of hers. Y'all, y'all, y'all girl, because she ain't never been my girl. I told you I don't like the helpful from the get-go, <laughs> okay? Y'all girl, Dee Dee, <laughs> the one who grew up poor and dust and dirt, and girl, all of a sudden, she just got rich a few years ago, and now she don't know how to go to the store and pick out some fucking clothes. That bitch. <laughs> I'm talking about the one, the one who say the dust in the stores bother her. Huh. <laughs> girl. <laughs> she grew up in a tent, and this bitch talking about the dust in the stores bother her. I do not like that woman. <laughs> Girl, I do not like her. Girl, get her ass off of my TV. Girl, I do not like that woman. I don't. I do not like her. She is a fraud to me. And you don't want, and then Garcelle brought that book up again, Room 23, and you don't want to talk about it. Girl, I would think that you, with this platform that you have now, girl, you will want to discuss it so you can put an end to it. Because quiet is just kept, bitch, I don't remember you talking about that book episodes ago. Or maybe I wasn't paying attention. Don't bring her ass back. Let her go with that little young white boy she didn't have that baby with and let her try to have some more babies at her old ass age. Anyways, her Sutton and Garcelle are on the boat. I did not. See, this is where I kind of, like, I get so confused on stuff like this because Sutton, er, not Erica, Garcelle, she, Diana basically brought up that her brother passed away. I don't think that Sutton was trying to make the moment about her or anything like that. I really don't. I just think that sometimes when you're sitting there having a conversation and someone brings up something, kind of like Gertie off of Real Housewives of Miami when Julia mentioned her child dying. Um, well, the child was really low-key murdered and quiet as his girl. Um... From what they said, that's what it sounded like to me. Um, and then Gertie talked about her, the death of her child. You know, she had a miscarriage. I don't think that people, are, some people do. Some people do try to make every situation about them. So let me just say that. So some people do try to make situations about them. But I don't think that Sutton, when she mentioned her father's death, she was trying to steer the conversation in her, in her direction and make it about her. I really think she was just, as crazy as it may sound, she was just kind of trying to... I guess, lack of a better word, relate to, you know, what Diana was saying. But Diana has a hard on for Sutton, for whatever reason. Anyway, talking about a bitch who clumsy with her words. Girl, you clumsy with yours. And Crystal, okay? Anyways, um, did Erica Jane say she took medication and alcohol? When I tell you rich white women, girl, quiet as this camp, honey, they told me in the cosmetics department at my old store, honey, rich white women used to come in there every day, baby, high off wine and pills. <laughs> so they good for popping pills and drinking, okay? Um, EJ. EJ want to know if Crystal, they were talking about threesomes or something, and she asked Crystal straight up if me and Garcelle pulled up to the house for you to fuck you and Rob, are you down? <laughs> I said, bitch, should I listen? 
This is the type of freaky shit I be wanting to, that I be wanting to hear. Girl. So, girl, here go Crystal talking about what type of Uber is it. Girl. Cause she said, does it matter the pussy is there? I yes. yes! I mean, EJ said the pussy is there, bitch. Does it matter? Girl. Are we fucking or not? That's the question. What's T? What's T? <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, Diana gets stung, I think, by a jellyfish. <laughs> Erica tells Garcelle to go pee on the go, go pee on the new girl. <laughs> Erica says she might have a fetish with golden showers. I say, you know, some people into, you know, we all into our own type of shit. Um, <laughs> I said there was a lot going on the boat. Lisa's, I saw, I think Lisa was scratching her ass, girl. Diane got stung by a jellyfish. Child, you got Erica, just a white girl wasted, just towed up. Um, girl, when they replayed that clip of Sutton Mama telling Sutton that she didn't miss her daddy. Girl, quiet as this cup. Mamas be knowing y'all daddies don't be shit. You had a different relationship with them. I knew the motherfucker wasn't shit, <laughs> okay? But you go ahead and you keep thinking that he walked on water, <laughs> all right? Uh, when they were editing uh, Erica Jane opening up, <laughs> opening her eyes, <laughs> like when the camera looked like it was, uh, they were trying to act like it was an eyeball. <laughs> yeah, I was in here hollering. Um, Garcelle has a birthday coming up. She lets them know that she invited Denise. Um, Lisa's going to be, I think she said in New York. I think Harry is going to be in a play. She's going to be out of town, basically, so she won't be able to make it. Um, Garcelle was hoping that Lisa would come so she could fix things with girl let me tell you something i mean yeah garcelle was hoping lisa could come so she could fix things with denise girl let me tell you something girl i don't girl i really hope garcelle stays on the show to me garcelle is what giselle tries to be sorry my finger is bothering me I have to clip that off. But Garcelle is what Giselle tries to be. I think Garcelle Loki could be that girl. Like as far as like the producer on the show, her and Cal really could like work together. Like, come on, <laughs> let's move the shit alone, and not make it look so obvious like Giselle. And then still hold their own. That's one thing I hate about Giselle. I know this ain't got nothing to do with, about Giselle and Real Housewives of Potomac. That's one thing I hate about Giselle. I feel like Giselle doesn't know how to do it. Like, you want to just be the producer, but when it's time for you to get involved in the shit, and you probably have to get in, you know, get into it and curse somebody out, she just falls flat. That's why I don't understand. I don't have a problem with Giselle. I just don't understand how people go up for Giselle. At all. Anyways, um, Lisa says that she actually uh, texted Denise a month prior and she apologized to Denise. <laughs> Garcelle, <laughs> Garcelle said, <laughs> when Garcelle was in her confessional and said, let me text Denise and basically ask, because I'm not saying that Lisa is lying, but. <laughs> <laughs> Denise replies, when? Girl, so I don't know, child. Um, again, Garcelle asks about the book. Diana didn't want to talk about it. Um, Diana says that Garcelle has been the least welcoming. <laughs> of course she has, Diana. Of course Garcelle has been the least <laughs> the least welcoming, okay? <sighs> EJ says that she doesn't want a boyfriend. Her and Sutton were having a conversation. She doesn't want a bar friend. She just wants a whole bunch of dick. <laughs> she don't care what it look like. Girl. <laughs> you just say, bitch, I just want a dick so I can hop on it and do a full split. <laughs> uh. um, Dorit starts, starts talking at dinner. Cal's face was hilarious. You know, I think, you know, I think Cal is really like... <laughs> I just think Cal is funny. Um, they get back to the hotel... 
Cal wants to drink. Girl, I love Cal. I'm sorry. I know people hate Cal. I see people who hate Cal and Lisa. There's really not anybody on this show who I dislike. Well, y'all know I don't like Lizard Tongue. What's her name? Dee Dee. Girl. Diana. Girl. What is, I need her to go figure out what's wrong with her lips. I need to go, her, I need for her to go figure out what's wrong. What's, what's this, what's going on here? I mean, maybe when she got them lips inflated, okay, they put the wrong shit in there. Because if I see her lick her lips one more time, I'm going to scream. I'm surprised that nobody's mentioned on the show yet. She, have you noticed she always licking her lips? Yeah. Um, Diana says that basically Sutton almost got, um, almost got head butted. I said, oh, so she got a fish because she head butted people. Okay. Um, Diana basically tells Sutton that she can't sit with him. The original seating would be best. Some shit like that. Sutton lets us know, girl, honey, I could have got my own plane. Bitch, quiet as this kept, bitch. <laughs> now, I couldn't have did shit. I just would have sat there because I'm trying to get home. But if I was Sutton, bitch, don't let me get no money because y'all hoes would have had me fucked up. Go, go said, let's go. Bitch, I can go get my own goddamn plane. <laughs> I don't need this bullshit. I don't know who you think you're talking to. Oh, I can get back home. <laughs> That's not a problem. Okay, now, if I was on a plane, I just, <laughs> I would have had to just sit there and talk my shit once I got back to Beverly Hills. <laughs> why? <Wow. laughs> you know, you gotta wait. You gotta wait till you get back home. See, that's why y'all hoes be fucking up. Y'all wanna talk to shit, girl, while you out of time. Now that they kicked your ass out the car, now you're stranded. <laughs> and you know you ain't got no money to get back home. Talk your shit once you get back to your zip code, okay? Okay? Because, girl, quiet as this cup, if I was sudden, I would have I been talking my shit big time. I still don't understand. Y'all, ain't nobody going to get me to understand why Sutton is letting these hoes do her the way that they do her. Because she should have been cussed out uh, Crystal and quiet as this cup, Erica Jane. I'm not gonna sit here and have this small conversation with you, girl. When we know, when we know, we gotta have a conversation. Once we have that conversation, that's gonna determine if we're gonna have small talk. We're not gonna have small talk to determine if we're gonna have the big conversation. We're gonna have the big conversation first, and then we can start to do, you know, the small talk and try to get to a better place. Fuck you, girl. You just told me, fuck, girl, go fuck yourself the other day. I ain't forgot, ho. <laughs> And so you just told her you ain't even like her. But these girls are a mess. Anyways, that was the episode. All right, I'll talk to y'all girls later. Bye.